In this lesson, we will examine the Analyze Graphs feature, which is part of the graphing application. On your handheld or your computer software, open up a new graphs application. We are going to plot a cubic polynomial to start with, and it's going to be x take four multiplied by x multiplied by x add four and then we're just going to divide by seven. I'm just going to remove that label. And to do that, I can just click on the label and hit the delete key and it will remove that label. The first thing that we will do is find the zeros or the X intercepts of this cubic. To do that, everything is located under the menu key. So press menu. We come down to option six which is analyze graph. And our first option, number one, is zero. So select option one. Lower bound means just to the left of your first X intercept or your zero, and you would click or hit enter. Your upper bound is just to the right of your zero or X intercept. Click and you will get your x axis intercept or your zero minus four comma zero. Likewise, you could do the same thing to find the other two x intercepts also. I will just remove that point. So I can click on that point and just hit the delete key. The next thing we will do is find the coordinates of the local maximum turning point on this cubic. To do that, we would again go to the menu key, come down to option six, which is analyze graph. And we're going to choose option three, which is maximum. Now maximum will find the maximum value of the function over any given domain. So lower bound, I'm going to click just to the left of my local maximum. As I move my cursor, you will see the maximum value start to increase. As I reach my local maximum, you will see that value stop. Click or press enter, and it will paste that maximum value onto your graph for you. Likewise, we could also find the local minimum turning point using the minimum function. I'm going to click on that point there and remove it. The next thing we will do is find the derivative at a particular point on this cubic. To do that, click the menu key again, come down to analyze graph option six, and we're gonna choose option six, dy on dx or derivative. What you would do is you've got a choice. If you hover over that little icon in the top left, it tells you possible options that you can do. I'm going to find the derivative of the function at the x value of negative four there. So you can click on that point, or you could simply just type in the value of your x value that you wanna find the derivative at. So I'm just gonna type in negative four, press enter, and it puts the gradient or the derivative of that function at that x value onto your graph. I'm going to remove that point. So click on it and delete. The next thing I will do is plot the gradient function for this cubic. To do that, press tab. We're going to do the derivative of our original function. And to do that, open the math template, which is just next to number nine on your keyboard and choose the derivative template there. Click on it or press enter. We're going to do the derivative with respect to x of our original function, which is f1, and our variable is x. Press enter, and it will plot your gradient function for you. Note that the local maximum there has a gradient of zero, and that should coincide with the x-intercept of your gradient function. I will just remove that function, so I press tab, I can come up and I can just remove that function by backspacing, press enter. 
The next thing that I will do is find the intercepts of two curves. So press tab, let's put in another function. So y equals x, press enter. And our goal is to find the x and y coordinates of where those two functions intersect each other. To do that, press your menu key, come down to analyze graph, and we're gonna choose option four, which is intersection. Lower bound, once again, you would click just on the left of your intersection point, click just on the right, and it will give you the coordinates of that intersection point. Likewise, you could have found the other two intersection coordinates also. That is all for this lesson. Be sure to check out the other lessons in this series.